On March 3rd, 2024, I took an Uber that I paid for with an American Express corporate card to the airport to attend firm training. In this video, you will watch a young accountant cultivate professional growth through his workplace training. I drank two beverages, apple juice and Gatorade, because I like to have options. Success tip number one, always have options. After I quenched my thirst, I continued my long walk to the gym. It was great to see Gen Z workers prioritizing fitness. During my breakfast, I bit the silver fork with maximum strength by accident. The pain lingered around for a week. Ouch. To stay awake and absorb all the information from my trainings, I got an Americano, black, because putting milk and cream is not something a guy like myself does. I don't tolerate nonsense. On my way to the training, fun. Lunch time, I sat outside to enjoy the warm Texas weather. Here, you can see me build rapport with my colleagues over lunch. I met a fellow YouTuber, or shall I say, a competitor, who told me she created her channel recently, which at the time of filming, had 9 subscribers. That brought back memories of early days of The Lonely Foodie. I can still vividly remember the joy and excitement I felt when I hit 100 subscribers. I still have long ways to go until I reach my goal of 1000 subscribers. Don't give up my friend and keep making your videos! Exclamation mark. I aspire to bring joy to people like ice cream does. Wink. Back to the training. Dinner time. I caught up with my colleagues over dinner. I have known them since I interned back in the summer of 2022. I marvel when I think about how much I changed since then. After the colleagues left, I got some dessert and ate by myself. When you're surrounded by people all the time, you can get lost in the crowd and stop thinking independently. When you don't take the time to reflect and consider your needs and goals, you may end up simply following the crowd without considering whether those actions are truly beneficial for you. This is a scary phenomenon I've experienced numerous times throughout my life, so I try to set some time aside for solitary contemplation. However, it is important to keep in mind that humans are social creatures. The key to a happy life is maintaining the right balance between solitude and communal interaction. The next morning, I was surprised to see the breakfast menu has changed. I didn't have time to try everything as I had to rush to my training. The garlic crostini was hard as a rock. It almost broke my teeth. Back to the training, thrilling, lunch time. The food at Deloitte University never disappoints. The chicken tenders coupled with the spicy sauce were outstanding. If you ask me what I missed the most about the training, I can tell you without hesitation, the chicken tenders. One of my colleagues recommended that I put lemon in Diet Coke. At first, I was skeptical about stepping into such uncharted territory as I am a Coke Zero drinker. But I took a leap of faith 
and followed her recommendation. After a sip, my small eyes widened to a size that I thought was not physically possible. My courageous experiment opened a new world of joy. After another lengthy training, I stepped outside for fresh air and headed to the gym. I am a firm believer that having a fit body leads to a fit mind, thus I prioritize my fitness over anything else. Dinner time. Once again, I ordered Diet Coke with lemon. The waitress brought me lime instead. Life can get sour like lime sometimes. Your life will not go as planned all the time. There are times when you have to take control of your life, but there are also times when you have to relinquish control and let events unfold naturally. When you are riding a boat, there are times when you have to paddle but there are other times when you let the current guide the boat. You have to assess your circumstance and determine what the best course of action is for you. The final meal in Texas. I love to eat. Eating is one of the greatest joys of my life. Good food can turn a bad day into a good day. However, you cannot always rely on external factors to manipulate your mood because you may develop dependence on them. I used to be a heavy coffee drinker, but I've been cutting back on it this year. I don't want to rely on foreign substance to have an energetic day. I am a firm believer that there is no shortcut in life. You have to earn things in honest manner. It's been 9 months since I started my full-time job. Even though I am by no means an expert, I have picked up a sizable amount of knowledge from my job. I am pleasantly surprised when I am talking to my colleagues and understand what they are talking about. One text provision I learned recently is Section 959 PTAP, previously text earnings and profits. It is a mechanism designed to prevent double taxation of income that was taxed previously under guilty or subpart F. Wow, that was quite a mouthful. I may not know everything, but I know quite a few things. If you ever need help with text, better subscribe to The Lonely Foodie.